So, welcome to my first attempt at a, uh, a screen grab homework thing, which I think should be a lot more fun than the usual homeworks I set you. Okay, I'm not going to waste any of your time because you want to get some, uh, your homework done quickly so you can go and play Xbox or something. Uh, what I'd like you to do is the following. I'd like you to go to this address, which I am highlighting right now in blue at the top of the page. This address contains a virtual experiment which you're going to carry out and you're going to plot a very quick graph and we're going to talk about the results which you get next lesson. So do now go to that address. So I'm just going to pause for a moment or two while you go to that address. You'll need to have this experiment you see in the screen up to do the next part of your homework. At this point you also want to get your exercise book out you want to turn to a new page in your exercise book and you want to give the page the title Photosynthesis Homework. So make sure you have both of those things ready. I'm just going to try and get back to my uh, web browser. Oh good. Okay. On this page you can do a virtual experiment. The experiment is one which you, which you tried to do in a previous experiment but um, this one may work slightly more reliably. What I'd like you to do is the following. First, just play around with the experiment. Uh, you'll notice that what you can do is drag a light source to and from a piece of pondweed in a test tube, just like some people did in that experiment in a previous lesson. So this pondweed is a species called Elodea. It produces bubbles when it's exposed to light we can use the rate at which bubbles are produced as a measure of how rapidly photosynthesis is occurring in the plant. Now drag the light source quite a long distance away from the plant, put it somewhere like 150 centimeters away and click on start. So on this screen you're seeing a zoomed in image of the pondweed and you're seeing that a certain number, number of bubbles are produced per second. The task which you're about to do is to count the number of bubbles per second and there's a tool on this um, screen which will help you do so. All you need to do is the following. When you see a bubble produced, tap this button here, as I'm doing right now, and keep doing it for at least 10 taps, as I'm doing. And you'll see above the tap um, button, um, a count will appear of the number of bubbles produced by this pondweed. Make a record of the number of bubbles produced now. So the number of bubbles produced is 62 bubbles per minute. And these have been produced when the light source is 150 centimeters away from the plant. Make a note of that now. Maybe in the back of your exercise book or something. It doesn't need to be particularly neat. I'd now like you to do the following. I'd like you to drag the light source to at least five different positions away from the pondweed. So before we had it at 150 centimeters away, now we'll move it to 110 centimeters away, say. For each position, click start and work out the number of bubbles produced per minute. Okay, so our second result might be 110 centimeters away and 156 bubbles per minute. Do you see what we're doing? We're replicating the experiment which we did in the lesson, but we're doing it nice and reliably using a, um, um, using a simulation. So do it for a set of different distances away from the plant. Then what I'd like you to do is, because this is science, draw yourself a nice graph. Put the independent variable in this experiment on the x-axis. In our case, it's the distance of the light source away from the plant. And the unit is centimeters. And on the y-axis, I'd like you to put the dependent variable. In this case, it's number of bubbles produced per minute. OK. Plot a nice graph. And then underneath your graph, I'd like you to answer the following question. Describe how the rate of photosynthesis changes with the light intensity a plant is exposed to. So remember that the rate of photosynthesis is measured by the rate at which bubbles are produced. And you also need to know that light intensity is just another word for um, how many photons of light fall on a plant per second, or less scientifically, how strong the lighter plant is exposed to is.
think about it, the closer the light source is to the plant, the stronger uh, the light source is, um, the more photons hit the plant per second. Okay, um, that should take you no longer than about 50 minutes, so that was a nice short homework. Um, I hope we can give you some feedback on whether this was good or bad next lesson. So I'm going to try and stop the recording now.